know, someone will come back and bury them when this disease has burned itself out. Who? I don't know, someone in authority. It was all neat and orderly. Clean floors and uncluttered tabletops. The guy even had safety posters on the walls. Hard to imagine an accident happening here. It's very rare, but you know what? There are hazards everywhere. You're kidding. Where? That's all about, baby. That's all about. That's all about. Let me show you where. Nineteen eighteen, they they had a sample that I guess had been in the whatever permafrost lab in the nineteen eighteen. So the idea was they were going to reanimate it mm. so that they could study it. The nineteen eighteen pandemic flu. They had a little sample of it, and it hadn't been a scourge in the earth for a hundred years. And they thought to themselves, "What if we just I don't know woke it up?" <laughs> and nobody in the room was like, "No, <laughs> let's not do that." But they did that. Here's how I believe the world ends. Atomic bomb, baby, atomic bomb. Atomic bomb, because there are still people. The Wuhan Institute of Virology was the center point. And may have been a deliberately made construct. The lab escape version is so freaking likely. One way or the other, it came out of Wuhan. The logical next step is whether the U.S. contributed to this pandemic start. The world ends. The last words man utters are somewhere in a lab. A guy goes, <laughs> it worked. That you're gonna have to wait till you wanna have it sad. So come give me a hug if you ever want it back. My flow, Sato, my microscope. They diagnose those nasty things. My put PCR, my tools, lab rules. Look for me when you call, better say my yeah. name. Ain't you love us? We're more than you hate us. So talk you mad? We let him dry just cause you made us. Woo. I'm a tech by the hood trying to run these damn lights. You that whiny intern trying to order more rice. <laughs> but I have investigated my fair share of accidents. <laughs> And one thing I've learned is that there's nothing accidental about it. Is that there's nothing accidental about it. Is that there's nothing accidental about it. Been splashed with a few vials, but I ain't positive yet. I'm on the board every day. They say lab is so wack. They hate us, so want them to love us like they love Pat. But holler in the lab, text to tell you I'm loco. And the plan is to spin these samples in the circle. I'm fully focused, man. Cross matching on my mind. Got a mill out the vial, anybody's to find. Now shorty said she's sending some vials. She's sending my crow with the cab. She didn't screw tight, now it's all over. Oh, <laughs> atomic bomb, baby, atomic bomb. Atomic bomb, because there are still people. So you have the atomic bomb, and the, if you cut the atom this way, it can power the world with electricity. And if you cut it that way, it can blow everything up. Guess which one we tried first? Like, Friend, that's just... If I will catch a ten, it was the people in authority who did this. Do go on. Some government scientist said, look what I made. Look what I did! <laughs> Kills almost everybody, isn't it great? <laughs> Probably got a medal and a raise. And then somebody spilled it. What are you talking about? What planet have you been living on? It was all over the internet before they shut it down. I've been kind of busy. Researchers in the Chinese government were on US government payroll. <laughs> then I hate the China. <laughs> Consequences are enormous. No accident like this has ever happened in human history. <laughs> well, that was ugly. Just like the Chinese.